Start on our back. I've got 10 pound weights here to work on my triceps. So just place, plant your feet nice and firmly into the floor, get into a nice comfortable position. And you're gonna just release down and press up. Dumbbell skull crushers. Try to really stabilize your elbows. Press the navel in toward the floor. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. Control as you lift up and as you lower down. Nice and slow. Elongate those ankles into a nice pointed foot position. Good. Now sit all the way up. Bend the knees. Bend. Toes touch. Lift straight. You can have your hands out to ceiling all the way up or out front for a little easier balance here. Toes touch and lift. Touch and lift and you can just start with one 
leg at a time. You can keep it bent, both bent, and then bend and lift, toe, toe tap. So these are just some options for you. And tap. Squeezing those thighs together, ankles together. Touch the ankle once you switch. Touch, switch, touch, switch, squeeze, switch. Nice. Good. Lower slowly all the way down. Take a little breather here and press the chest up. And then release and contract. Press up. And contract. Keep moving this way. Giving your abdominals a little stretch. Breathe into them. Release. Good. Now I'm going to start with both legs together. You're just going to lift and lower as high as you can go. You can use a little bit of momentum here. We just isolated it all. Those low oblique abdominal muscles. Now you can use a little bit of momentum with your arms, lifting your torso in towards your legs. As much as possible, try to keep those knees from bending. Whoop. That's next. Up, bend, lift, lower. Up, bend both legs, lift them straight, and then lower. And that's our next sequence. Lift, bend, straight, lower down. Lift up. Bend, straight, lower down. Lift, bend, squeezing those thighs. Hip flexors are working. Obliques are working. Squeeze. Bend, lift, release. Up, tap, lift, down, up. back 
and then press everything front and forward, keeping your elbows tight in, and then contract back and pull. Good. Now you're going to come back onto your back, and I want you to place your right ankle across onto your left thigh, and then lift that leg straight. And then you're going to sort of turn onto the side of your body here, and you're going to place your hand behind your head, and you're just going to press thinking of pressing your elbow towards that thigh and hip that is lifted. Keep squeezing the lateral sides of your body, pressing together. Good. Lower down. Bottom arm comes down to the floor and you're going to sort of press your body more in front of you. Now you're going to release the bottom leg, which is bent straight. Other leg, your left leg comes down onto your toes here. And I just want you to press this leg in toward your body. Using those hip flexors, and low abdominal muscles. Press in, 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 in. Good, lower down. Other side. You're gonna bend. When you go to this side, you're gonna bend your left leg, ankle comes across, and lower the knee and thigh down to the floor. Like this. Arm, bottom arm comes straight and underneath you to the side. Lift that leg. And then you're gonna put your hands behind your head and you're gonna squeeze in, up. Keep breathing. Ten more. And release down. Good. Now you're going to extend the bent leg straight in front, kind of in front of you. And you're going to bend your top leg and place your toes onto the floor. And push your chest forward. And then from here, your other top hand comes to, down to the ground on your tips of your fingers. And you're gonna press in, in, in towards your body, up and in. One, two. Lower control, lift.
working that inner thigh, hip flexor, and lower abdominal muscles. 10 more. Good, lower it down. Nice. And now I just want you to come into a half split. Give yourself a little stretch. Left leg forward. Extend your, your chest nice and straight and long. Elongate that spine. Before you go anywhere, use blocks. If you need your hands on a block so you can have a nice straight and flat back instead of rounded out like that. Keep it nice and long. And then you can add in a little bit of that weight on top of your thigh, stretching out those hamstrings. With ease. Switch legs, your left leg comes back and your right leg comes forward and just find that position, stretch out that hamstring before you start adding any of your own body weight, pressing your booty back, tailbone back, chest forward, nice and long spine and then you can start, you can either flex and point, or you can start elongating your torso down on top of your kneecap and chin. Adding a little bit more weight, pressure onto that thigh, so that it's elongating those hamstrings. One last push after this. Breathe, lift, breathe, lower, lift. Nice. We always have one side that is more dominant, so be aware of that and be gentle and kind to yourself. So now we're just going to come into a regular push-up. So come up onto plank position, or you can stay down onto your knees, wherever you're at. But let's get 12 in, shall we? Lower, lift. Don't give up. Keep going. If you have to lower to your knees, come down to your knees to keep going. I'm gonna come down to my knees and keep going until I can't. Come on, let's go. <sighs> yes! Good, we did it. Yeah, I always work out so much harder when you guys are watching. Give yourself a nice stretch in the upper chest shoulders, 
release them down, and then to press up. Really engaged. And lift, lower and extend the tailbone away. And up as you lower those shoulders down. Oh, that feels so good. And then press the palms into the floor. Fingers, palms, press up, 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 up. Good. Lower the hips. And then take a nice little stretch here. Just think of pulling your chest forward. And press up. Bend slightly the elbows. And then extend up. Bend slightly. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. Nice, relaxed, long neck. Good. And you can reach back behind you, bend the knee, and give your quads a little love, one by one. Flex them here. Feel, oh, that was my shoulder popping. <laughs> Release, and then bring the other arm all the way behind you. Circle it, and bend the knee. And you give your quads a little stretch, a little love here. If you need to, you can come down onto your elbow up here, and then press down. stretches always feel so good to me after I run. Thank you for coming for, to take class with me and I hope to see you all soon. I hope you enjoyed it.